What's going on guys? I've got a 2013 E150 and I'm gonna use it to point out to you the location of the starter relay and a starter fuse. I'm also gonna show you uh, some other important relays for the operation of the starting system. So the main one for you to check, and you can try tapping on this as someone is holding the key in the start position. This is going to be your starter relay right there. And it will come out, you just have to uh, wiggle it around while you're pulling up. You don't want to grasp it too hard or you can you can mess it up, but uh, with a little persistence it will come out. And if you suspect that this relay is bad, a good troubleshooting step for you would be to swap it with the relay that's not used as often or a relay that you know works. So if your wipers work, the wiper relay, which is right next to it, works and therefore it would be a good candidate to swap in there as a troubleshooting step. Now as far as the fuse for the starter goes, it's going to be right underneath it. It's going to be this little 30, 30 amp J-case fuse. And it's got a little translucent cover on it. So you can actually look inside and see if it's blown or not. So as you can see, this one is not blown. I'll go ahead and put that back. Now there's another fuse right next to it. That's actually for the run start system. So that's important as well. It's tied in with the ignition. And there's also a relay associated with that. It's gonna be this one right there. Uh, one other important relay for you to check is gonna be the powertrain control relay. So a few things going on, but um, you know most likely it's gonna be a problem with the starter relay. Check the fuse as well. And that's about it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you've got any advice for troubleshooting the starting system on your E150. Thanks for watching.